Today we're going to start a new section. It's using tangent lines to approximate values of curve functions. So first we have to remember how to find the equation of a tangent line to any function. And that's what we're going to be working on today and tomorrow we'll apply that. Uh, you've done this before. I don't know how much you're going to remember, but if you remember a lot, then this is going to be super easy. So the first of all, the equation of a tangent line to any graph at x equals c is this. And you may recall, recall that's just the point-slope form of a line, which was y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're saying x equals c. So this x right here is c. The slope we know is a derivative, so the slope is f prime of c, and the y value is what you get when you plug c into the function. I know that's a mess, but it's just that. So now we're going to do it. If you remember, all you really need to do on these problems is figure out two things. What is f of c and what is f prime of c? So the first example I have for you is this. Determine the equation of a tangent line to these following three problems. And this one says that x equals 1. So we have y minus f of c equals f prime of c times x minus c. C is 1. Now we just have to figure out what f of 1 is and f prime of 1 is. So f of 1 is you plug in 1 to this function. So it's 2 times 1 minus 4 times 1 plus 1, which equals negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. Then we have to figure out what f prime of 1 is. So first, we have to figure out what f prime of x is. 4x minus 4. So that gives you f prime of 1 equals 4 times 1 minus 4, which is 0. So you plug these in. y minus a negative 1 equals f prime of 1 with 0 times x minus 1. So y plus 1 equals 0. You can leave it like that, or you can write it as y equals negative 1. That's y equals the x plus b form. That's it. Now, we're going to check this on our graph and calculator. We've done this before. Um, you plug in the function, which I already have, and you graph it. So that's a, par a parabola. And then to get the equation of the tangent line, you first have to have the calculator actually draw the tangent line. So I'm going to go to draw, which is right here. So that second program. That gives me the draw menu. You need to look at this way. We want to go to number five tangent. So I'll hit five. And then it will just wait for me to tell it where I want to draw the tangent. And since we said x equals one, I'm going to just hit one and then enter. It drew the tangent line. And right here, it gives you the equation of the tangent line. If you can see it, it says y equals 0x plus negative 1, or y equals a negative 1. So that's it. That's an easy example. Um, I'm going to stop this video, and the next video, we're going to go over these next two examples, which are a little bit more complicated, but they're still pretty easy.